Hey there, it's Anna. Welcome back to For Real. I've been hearing a lot about this iPad activation lock issue, also known as the iCloud activation lock. And let me tell you, it's a real thorn in our sides. Now, some websites and software might lead you down a long winding road, promising quick solutions. But let's face it, they can be sketchy, costly, and even potentially harm your device. And honestly, who wants to risk that? But guess what? Today, I've got something way better for you. We will uncover a safer, faster, absolutely free and reliable alternative. It's a simple legal method that works for iPhones, iPads, and even Apple Watches. So buckle up and let's dive right into it. Stay tuned, you're going to love this. Just a heads up, we're sharing tips for folks who own their devices but can't recall their login details. We don't wanna help anyone do anything naughty, like unlocking a device they shouldn't have. Let's keep it legal and respect everyone's rights, okay? Also, we're following YouTube's rules and community standards here. All right, let's dive right into the solutions. Many of you might've come across services offering to take care of this lock issue. There are quite a few out there, but the ones worth mentioning are Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app, Safe Unlocks, iUnlock app, and Locked to Owner. These guys know their stuff and are go-to solutions for unlocking iCloud activation locks and removing that pesky iPhone lock to owner message. Just as a quick story, a friend found an old iPhone in their drawer, all dusty and forgotten. When they tried to use it, boom, an iPhone lock to owner message popped up. After some research, they stumbled upon Unlock Here's AI-powered unlocking web app. A few clicks and a short while later, the phone rang again. That's just one example. Safe Unlocks also has a solid reputation. They've helped countless users regain access to their devices in a snap. And then there's the iUnlock app, a super user-friendly platform that zaps iCloud activation locks like no one's business. Don't get me wrong, these services can be hey. super handy, but today we're all about that free DIY spirit. So we will explore an even better, safer, and quicker method you can use without spending a penny. In the next part of this video, we'll delve into how to use Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. So stick around because we've got lots of great stuff coming your way. Please be advised that our unlocking services are primarily accessible in first world countries. If you cannot access these services or prefer not to use them, don't worry, we have an alternative solution. Every week, we offer 250 free unlocks to our dedicated viewers. Participating in our special offer is simple, and here's how you can do it. Like this video, this is your first step towards the chance to get your device unlocked for free. Subscribe to our channel, join our growing community for your chance to win and stay updated with our latest videos and offerings. Comment on this video. In your comment, provide the specific model of your device. For example, Samsung S9, your IMEI number, and the name of your country. As soon as you complete these three steps, you'll be automatically entered into our weekly offer. Take advantage of this opportunity to unlock your device for free. Follow these three steps and stay tuned. All right, let's dive straight into the unlocking process. Start by pulling up your web browser. It doesn't matter if you're on your smartphone or computer. Just head to unlockhere.com. This neat site runs on a handy AI assistant to help you crack mobile phone restrictions. Once you're there, you'll meet an AI bot named Nifty. Tell Nifty you want to unlock iCloud by clicking the activation lock option. It's easy. Next, you need to let them know what kind of gadget we're dealing with. Let's say it's an iPhone, but if you're working with an iPad or Apple Watch, pick those instead. Now here's where it gets a bit technical, but stick with me. You'll need your device's IMEI or serial number. You might be wondering, what's the difference? Well, if you're unlocking an iPhone, you're going to use an IMEI. Some iPads and Apple Watches also use an IMEI if they have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, but if your iPad or Apple Watch doesn't, it'll use a serial number instead. Now to find this information, lock your device and press the sleep button. Press it again, this time tapping the little I on the bottom right. Voila, your device information is there. Moving on, take the next step. You have to input your device information. Then you'll be asked to enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Ensure you provide accurate information to get your order confirmed. A confirmation code will be sent to your email. Next, 
check the box saying you agree with the terms. Remember, no shady business. We don't unlock stolen devices here. Then, solve the quick CAPTCHA to prove you're not a robot and hit Start Process. Keep an eye on your email because a confirmation code is coming. Sometimes it lands in the spam or junk folder, so double check there too. Grab that code and head back to the Unlock Here website. You'll need to enter it there and do another robot check. After you've punched it in, you're all set. Your unlock has kicked off and soon your device will be free as a bird. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again once it's finally unlocked. So it may take a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And there it is. In this part, let's skip all the setup. Don't worry, you can go back to set it all up later. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the rest of the steps and just do it all later on. Now, go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here, you can just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. And yeah, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. Stay tuned because we've got another handy method for those who want a different approach. So don't you dare hit that pause button. We've got another method coming up next for those who want a different approach. Remember, we're focusing on legal methods here. So if you're dealing with an iCloud activation lock, don't sweat it, we've got you covered. First, have you given Apple's iCloud website a shot? It's a pretty straight up way to remove an iCloud activation lock. Just sign in to iCloud with your Apple ID, select the Find iPhone option, then All Devices, and finally choose the device you want to remove. Hit Erase, and then remove it from the account. Remember, this method only works if you know the Apple ID and password tied to that device. If you're eyeing a secondhand iPad and the previous owner forgot to remove their account, things get a bit trickier. This is where Apple's support steps in. Reach out to them, explain the situation, and they could help you. Providing proof of purchase would significantly smoothen the process though. There's also another nifty tool named Unlock Here that you might want to try which I previously mentioned. Technically, this AI-powered web app helps unlock your phone. All right, these were a few simple yet effective methods to tackle that iCloud activation lock. Now stay tuned. We've got more goodies coming up in the next videos.